Welcome to the blog of a Biosphere project. This is the audio version of the blog post Michael Mead, The Magic of Ancient Stories. The written version of this post contains several links to external websites for additional information. If you wish to follow these links, it is of course necessary to read the written version. The post requires about 10 minutes of reading time. Music is possibly our oldest way of sharing stories, and Michael Mead has been uniting the two, music and storytelling, in an inimitable way for a lifetime. Michael Mead is a shaman, you might say. His whole life he has been accumulating an extraordinary knowledge of myths, stories and folk tales from around the world. He collects these stories, but also gives them a special interpretation that brings these stories back to life and makes them relevant to our 21st century society. He uncovers underlying meanings revealing the ancient wisdom hidden in these stories that are often much older than our written history. He always emphasizes how the wisdom in these stories can help us find a direction, a compass out of the maze, a grounding in the turbulence and storms we are going through as a society and as a civilization. He is author of the books The Water of Life, The World Behind the World, Fate and Destiny, The Two Agreements in Life, and Why the World Doesn't End, Tales of Renewal in Times of Change. In times marked by the disintegration of our collective narratives, Michael Mead's contribution in the search for a new collective narrative is invaluable. But Michael Mead is not just an erudite intellectual and anthropologist and connoisseur of ancient wisdom. He also continually brings that ancient wisdom to bear in the most difficult circumstances imaginable. He is the founder of the Mosaic Multicultural Foundation, a Seattle-based nonprofit dedicated to education and culture. The focus of his current work is bringing healing through stories and mythology to populations from many sectors of modern culture. He often works with at-risk youth, the homeless, returning veterans, prisoners and youth involved in gangs. He leads day workshops and residential retreats focused on healing and personal growth. In his work with troubled youth, he points the often uprooted and directionless youth towards a new sense of grounding and identity through the wisdom of the oldest stories known to man. He is adjunct faculty in depth psychology at Pacifica Graduate Institute, where his honorary doctorate comes from, and often teaches mythology and depth psychology. His podcast, Mosaic Voices and Living Myth, is an endless treasure trove of rediscoveries and fascinating interpretations of ancient mythologies and folktales, and the ancient wisdom contained therein, wisdom we more than need at this critical point in our development. And Michael Mead is one of those people who can give a new voice to ancient stories like no other, recounting and singing them with his warm, engaging voice, often accompanying himself on a West African djembe. Michael is also a gifted performer. He's a master at telling those ancient stories, hypnotically accompanying himself with rhythms that energetically bring to life the earth and the magical origins of the stories and of our oldest intuitions. As a great connoisseur and storyteller of ancient tales, Michael Mead is uniquely qualified to bring ancient mythologies from all world cultures to life in this way and to shed new light on their relevance for a different understanding of our current situation. Drawing on stories that seem as old as the world itself, he weaves a complex and layered web of relationships between mythology, anthropology and psychology. In the first video, he plays and narrates along with John Densmore, the legendary drummer of The Doors. This performance took place at a conference of Bioneers, an organization that spotlights pioneering solutions for human and planetary recovery. Founded in 1990 in Santa Fe, New Mexico by social entrepreneurs Kenny Osobel and Nina Simons, they serve as a fertile hub of social and scientific innovators with practical and visionary solutions to the world's most pressing environmental and social challenges. You can read more about Bioneers here. The story he narrates in this first video is about the core idea in his work, the ancient concept of genius which in its original meaning did not refer to an extraordinary mental capacity as we understand it today, but rather to the intrinsic gift present in and inherent to every child born. A gift that in the original mythological, mythological sense is connected to both heaven and earth. To find a genius, the child must connect both upward to the cosmos and downward to the earth and the soul of things. And finding one's own genius is essential to enter into and fulfill life's purpose and to be able to make our highly personal contribution 
to healing the world and to creating a new culture. He tells the mythological story of an old woman who weaves a very special fabric in a cave. When she has to leave the fabric behind for a while to take care of uh, grains hanging in a pot cooking over the fire, a large dog comes and tears apart the whole fragile creation. What does the woman do when she returns and finds the destroyed fabric? She simply begins to weave again. In the mythological story, Mead identifies the three forces always at work in our world. Creation, destruction and sustaining. And in a very illuminating way, he links this story to our role in sustaining the fabric, which represents no less than the entire world and the cosmos. We are all called to participate in weaving the fabric of life and to participate in the dance of creation and destruction so that the two can remain in balance. In his narrating and performing, Michael Mead connects humorous, numerous themes from mythology from all parts of the world and pours out a vision of a new but also ancient meaning of our lives and the potential for healing people and nature and creating a new world. In what I consider a brilliant way, he brings ancient wisdom to life as a shaman, as a tribal elder, a seer, who nevertheless also integrates a profound knowledge of the contemporary world into this old news. And so in the following excerpt, he narrates and plays alongside John Densmore's, the co-founder and drummer of The Doors, who in addition to being a legendary mus musician, is also an activist very much committed to ecology. Enjoy the amazing performance of these two wise men. This excerpt requires some concentration. Michael narrates in a very speedy rhythm at times, and this is not a lecture, but a performance. So you have to be there with all your attention. And give the stories of Michael Mead the space to really come in. It is knowledge that comes from very far back, further than we can remember. In the following video, another lecture and performance by Michael Mead at Stanford University in 2014. This time a slower pace. This time it is more of a lecture that again touches much of the core of Michael's ideas and further explores the concept of genius. And Michael emphasizes in this lecture, which, which not coincidentally took place at a prestigious university, the importance of education, which actually has or should have the goal of helping the child discover his or her own genius and gift to the world, rather than stuffing the child with practical knowledge and function of a career, as is so often the case today. And the genius in this sense is also the reason why a child comes into the world, the reason why we live. And he is more than right. We often think that saving the planet and ourselves will depend on technical discoveries and the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. But I am now convinced that our future will depend much more on a radical change of worldview, on finding our genius and on a far-reaching reform of our educational system and many other things, including a completely different kind of agriculture. But the other changes will largely depend on our capacity to develop a different worldview. So here is Michael Mead once again on finding genius and the importance of the genius of each and every one of us for the world, with the djembe once more as a companion. What Mead tells us about the ancient notion of genius goes against the predominant view today that the universe and existence are an accident without meaning, significance or purpose. No, the concept of genius tells us. We are indeed here for a purpose and we are connected to the cosmos as man has always known. We just forgot about it for a moment now. For the past 200 years, which is a split second in humanity's existence. And the genius in each of us also knows why we are here. We just have to find our way back to what has been slumbering within us from the beginning. It is a long lecture, but worth it to the end. And as the pace is slower than in the previous performance with John Densmore, it is easier to follow Michael's line of thought this time. Fascinating and full of treasures for the heart and mind. Highly recommended. In the third video, we see an interview with Michael during the online conference dedicated to wisdom in times of crisis, organized during the pandemic by the platform Science and Non-Duality. It is a particularly beautiful and fascinating interview in which Michael Mead gives his vision of our current situation in crisis. But Michael wouldn't be Michael if he didn't accompany it with a story as well, accompanying himself on the djembe as usual. Warmly recommended, as is just about everything science and non-duality produces.
In the last and short video we see Michael Mead as a much younger man, in the late 80s, which is unmistakably noticeable by his haircut, and not just because his hair is not grey yet. Here he accompanies with percussion the great Robert Bly, who is reciting a poem by W. B. Yeats. More about Robert Bly in one of the next installments of Old News. Bly was a poet himself, but like Michael Mead, he was also a brilliant interpreter of ancient myths, and like Michael Mead, he could clarify them in a way that made their total relevance and actuality crystal clear. This was the audio version of the blog post, Michael Mead, The Magic of Ancient Stories. If you enjoyed this blog post, don't forget to subscribe to the blog of a Biosphere Project through the contact form on the website. You can also subscribe to a Biosphere Project's YouTube channel. Until the next installment of the blog, thank you for listening and all the best to you.